I'm Susan Vickers. I'm here speaking with Eddie Lee in Tobogal Lane Cafe, who is from the Sligo Jazz Project. Hi, Eddie. How are you? Hi, Susan. And you? So um, you're involved in the Sligo Jazz Project, as I just said. How did you get involved in that? Uh, well, we set it up it basically formed by local musicians um, to kind of provide events for musicians, mostly for musicians, but also for the general public. Um, so most of our events up to date have been uh, performance and education hand in hand. You know. Uh, so we've had a few summer schools uh, which were very successful but um, we have a bit of a, a change of plan this year. We, we're going to take a break from the summer school. We're just going to run a festival. Um, but we're, we, we try and get involved. Funding uh, is, is always a problem but when we have the funding we always try and get involved in lots of different events. And We've teamed up with other organisations like Itchy Feet and it's a factory, uh, Corja Festival and a few people like that. Um, in, in an effort to keep things happening here in Sligo because it is very difficult to, to, to keep things going without, without proper funding. So sometimes when you pool, organisations pool together, it can be really, it can be very helpful. Um, sorry, how many people are, kind of are involved in the project? Uh, well, any, anything from two upwards really. Uh, we, there's sort of two generally uh, and then there's a, a bunch of um, volunteers that we have that, that, uh, that help us out with various events. But, uh, as far as the general day-to-day -day kind of stuff, uh, I'm the general dog's body, I suppose you could describe me as. So, um, We're just in the process of putting together a great festival for July. Uh, it's just going to run over three days from the 17th to the 19th of July. Um, and we've got some interesting bands, including a couple of really, like, two of the top UK jazz bands at the moment. Um, the Neil Cowley Trio and Empirical, who have both won um, BBC Jazz Awards over the last two years and um, they're both very exciting groups and also groups, young groups, and they appealed to uh, a younger audience which is one of the things that we really want to try and get going here, you know, because uh, sometimes people associate jazz with old people like myself uh, which isn't really the case, there's a lot of an amazing young jazz and also during our festival we've got uh, some of the products of our summer school so to speak, we have some of the uh, co a couple of the real prodigies that came and attended our summer school over the last couple of years, um, including Matt Halpin, who's an uh, incredible sax player from Dublin, and uh, Carl Henry Gusback, who from Sweden, uh, who many people were raving about over the last two years. He was here both years at the summer schools, and was one of the main highlights of the the jam sessions. Uh, he's a 15-year-old drummer from Sweden and he's an extraordinary musician altogether. So they're putting a band together and they're going to be um, one of the headliners at our festival. Uh, and we're really happy that we can get a bunch of young lads who are just as good as any old fellas at, at playing jazz and, and better in many ways. You know, it's, it's really going to keep um, Sligo buzzing that weekend. You know? And it's also going to keep our jazz project alive, even though we're not running the summer school this year. Uh, it's going to keep things things happen. Mm. Yeah, that's July. So we'll, lots of uh, more info will be out on that shortly on sligojazz.ie. Sligojazz.ie is, uh, is our kind of events website, festival website. So just getting back to the background, what age did you kind of get into jazz at? I always had an interest in it, but I, I didn't really start playing it until I was in my 30s, I'm ashamed to say. Uh, I, I actually didn't start playing the double bass in my, in my 30s because I grew up playing in rock bands, playing electric bass. And then I sort of, not switched over, but I added the double bass and, and now I play nearly all double bass. I don't play much electric anymore. So I've kind of been into jazz always, but only playing it for maybe 10 years or something. You have had a musical background, you seem to have a lot of experience in different kind of areas. Yeah, well, I'm sort of a rocker at heart, so I always, I, that's one thing, I'm always attracted to the to the young bands that add a bit of the rock and roll end of things to in, uh, to the to the way they approach jazz. You know, like Neil Cowley Trio, a great example of that. They were on Jules Holland recently, and uh, they they rocked the house. You know, so they're, they're, I, I, that kind of that end of jazz really attracts me. Even though I don't really play an awful lot of that stuff, except partly with the odd couple, we do some slightly left wing stuff. And, Slightly rock and roll stuff. And speaking of the alcohol, you've got a festival coming up on Patrick's weekend. Do you want to talk a bit about that? Yeah, unfortunately, we, we haven't got our piano player here in Queen who's just heading away for uh, a sabbatical. He's heading around the world for six weeks. Uh, 
lucky thing. Anyway, we're we're uh, we're going to do without him by, by hiring probably the best piano player in Ireland to to dip for him. And we're having a little festival here in Tullaghar Lane Cafe, um, which is going to run from the 14th to the 17th, including uh, St Paddy's Day on the in the afternoon. So after the parade, you can come in here and have a fantastic jazz brunch with Gay McIntyre Quartet upstairs here. Um, prior to that, on the uh, Saturday night, we're having a launch of a new jazz club which is going to start happening up here, uh, upstairs in Tubbo Lane uh, on uh, Fridays. But uh, we're having the launch on Saturday, the first day of the little mini festival. And that's going to feature the odd couple with Phil Ware, special guest Phil Ware, who's uh, absolutely uh, incredible piano player from uh, from England who's based in Dublin and uh, Phil has kindly agreed to, to, de to fill in for Kieran when he's away um, and he's he's a major figure in Irish jazz he's got his own trio in Dublin and they've played at festivals all over the world so they're, they're quite quite well known uh, and also uh, the lovely Sinead Conway is going to be joining us for that as well so it's going to be a bit of soul and funk and stuff thrown into the, to the mix as well so it's going to be like a nice mixture of music that night and it's free yeah. and it's a late bar so it's all good free always has a bonus recession prices as in zero yeah and um the friday night so when is to say they're starting up the fridays will be starting on the 20th of march hopefully long may they last that's what i would say um, so we'll have a mix of different stuff. Um, I can't guarantee it'll be the different every week, but hopefully we'll have plenty of uh, different guests and stuff uh, coming along. To it. Um, so that's uh, Fridays upstairs in Cumbria Lane, and it's late. I think we're, we'll be looking at uh, the first one uh, uh, would probably be a bit earlier, but the, the rest of them should be t sort of ten until late. There's a late bar. So. So anything else planned for the future apart from the Patrick's again, the Friday nights and the August or the July festival? Yeah, there's two brunches I, I haven't mentioned. There's two brunches on Patrick's weekend. Uh, there's the Sunday brunch, which is which happens anyway. Um, it's it's a regular gig here, and we do it with the odd couple, and we alternate sometimes. Um, that that's on on the Sunday, and it's also on on, on St Patrick's Day. So. And take your pick of those or come to the boat to the mall because the food is great and the music will be great the first one will be with Phil Ware and Sinead along with the odd couple rhythm section and then this the St. Patrick's Day is Gay McIntyre who's a, a, an old timer um, but an incredibly energetic player and he still plays like he was 17 he's 75 years old this year and he's just a fa fabulous saxophone player and wonderful clarinet player as well and he's a great uh, showman as well, so he, he always puts on a show, it's not just a session. You know. And his son, his son Paul, is a fine piano player. I played with him quite a bit, I did the Derry Jazz Festival with him last year, and I've done a good few gigs with him, and we get on well, and it's a nice, it's a nice combo, and we have Ken McDonald from the Odd Couple as well on, on drums. So we're kind of the resident rhythm section for the, for the festival, and the people coming in. Uh, yeah, on the 20th, by the way, on the 20th, um, the Bug House Band, we just confirmed the Bug House Band will be doing the, the Friday Night Jazz Club on the 20th. They're a great local band as well, Saga Band. It's Stan Burns on sax, Tony Travers on drums, uh, Mark Murphy on piano, and somebody else involved, Patrick Serigetti on double bass. So they're, they're a fine band as well. They're going to be doing some of the, some of the Fridays, along with... The odd couple. Hopefully, we'll get Phil Ware for some of them as well, and uh, uh, plenty of plenty of good good jazz happening in Sligo. So, do you have any like advice to young kind of jazz players or people who want to get involved in this? Well, I I'd ha I hate to single out people as being jazz players, really, because yeah, I mean, the, the thing about jazz is it's just it's just a sort of a more advanced method of playing, and it's a, it's just I mean, there's an awful lot of great jazz players who they, they may play jazz, uh, but they will also play all sorts of other types of music. Like, because this, this, the theory behind it all is the same as for pop music, you know what I mean? I mean, we have a music school, so I go contemporary music school, myself and Ken, the drummer from the Odd Couple. Uh, we ba based out in Ballinoid College, and we teach rock school curriculum. And, you know, when you get into advanced rock school sort of stuff, it becomes jazz theory, you know? 
um, and all, all that kind of stuff. It sounds a bit daunting, but w if you progress through the rock school tuition, you will actually get into jazz eventually, you know. And I think there's most really good rock players that I know are into jazz as well, and they they'll you know they'll have their minds blown by certain jazz musicians and they'll all have, they'll, everybody has their favorites you know so I think I think uh, sometimes I think people have to put things in boxes too too much I, I prefer like to talk about good music and bad music <laughs> but yeah um, I, I, my advice to young young musicians is practice <laughs> just practice a lot and get playing with as many people as you can and play as many different types of music as you can because that's that's that will you know, but but you learn so much by doing that, you know. Even I, I'm not the biggest fan of country music, but I've learned a huge amount by, by ha sitting in on country music gigs, you know. So I mean, everything that you play is an education, and, and hopefully will inspire you in some way as well. You know? So I think it, it's just try and keep an open mind. That's my advice. And sing, sing every day, <laughs> sing in the shower. <laughs> the people who can sing, just sing, or just sing. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> if you want to know more about the St. Patrick's Jazz Fest, check out our blog on sligotv.ie. Um, oh, uh, when is this going out? Okay, this Thursday. <laughs> what day is Thursday? March the 5th? March the 5th. Furies, uh, come to the Odd Couple Party. We're, we're giving Kieran Quinn a send-off uh, in Furies. And it's going to be a great session. 9.30 in okay. Well, Eddie, thank you very much for talking to us. Best of luck with all the future festivals and I'm sure we'll see you over the Patrick's Weekend Festival. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. 